In this video, I'll show you how to work with the ProPresenter data controller in Titler Live. I'm assuming you're already familiar with the basics. So if you're a church broadcaster who's never worked with Titler Live before, I would suggest you watch my video on integrating Titler Live in a worship live stream. First off, we'll need to make sure that ProPresenter is configured correctly so it can talk with Titler Live. In ProPresenter, we'll look in the Preferences menu and go to the Network tab. We need to make sure Enable Network is ticked. We'll also enable ProPresenter Remote and the controller. Finally, we'll tick Enable Stage App. Then we'll need to set passwords for the controller and stage apps. To keep things simple, I'll just use controller and stage. Now that ProPresenter is all set up, we'll switch over to Titler Live, go to the library, and select the graphics that we need for our service. For this example, I'll use a countdown timer, a main title, a scripture lower third, and picture in picture for lyrics. I'm also going to select this double picture in picture to show some additional options of what's possible. And I'll add a live video source by right clicking in layers, new live video. I'm recording this tutorial in my home office, so I'm just using webcams, but these could be virtually any live video feed that's connected to your system, including NDI and PTZ cameras. I'll also add ProPresenter's NDI stream so we can see what's happening when we start controlling things. Now we'll need to set ProPresenter to be the data controller for at least one of the graphics. So in the layers list under data controllers, select the dropdown, worship, ProPresenter, and ProPresenter. The ProPresenter controller will load in the layer properties panel. I'm going to expand this panel so we have some more room to work with, and we'll go ahead and enter the credentials from ProPresenter. For name, you can use localhost if you're running ProPresenter on the same system. Otherwise, you can enter the system name or IP address that's listed in ProPresenter. Next, we'll enter the port number and the controller and stage passwords. Now we can go ahead and click Connect to ProPresenter. And now that we've set up all the credentials, Titler Live will automatically connect in the future as long as ProPresenter is already running when you add the data controller. Next, we'll select the ProPresenter playlist for our service. At this point, we're all set to remote control ProPresenter. You can see here I can start, stop, or reset the timer. And if I click on any slides from the presentation, we're controlling ProPresenter. I can also use the forward and back arrows to step through slides. Since we want to be visualizing text from ProPresenter in our live graphics, we'll need to configure our ProPresenter slides so Titler Live knows what to do with the incoming data. We can also set up some pretty sophisticated automations. But before we get into all that, we want to make sure that the CCLI info is displayed for any songs in the playlist. So let's hop over to ProPresenter, open the slide notes for the first slide in the song, and make sure it has a hashtag followed by the CCLI number. Titler Live will pick this up and use it as the CCLI value for the entire song. We'll make sure this is set up for all songs in the service. Back in Titler Live, we can click Configure Slides or right-click on any slide in the playlist and select Enter Config Mode. Here we can select the slide type from the dropdown. We have detailed information on use cases for each slide type in our help documentation, but for the most part it's pretty intuitive. Since this playlist item is a hymn, I'll select Lyrics. And now we can associate a graphic to play whenever this particular slide is selected. Titler Live will automatically recommend graphics based on the slide type you selected but you can always choose to link to any graphic layer in the production. I'll go ahead and select my picture-in-picture -picture lyrics graphic, and since it's a picture-in-picture, -picture, I'll get another drop-down to select what video source I want to associate with it. I'll choose my band camera. You'll notice that a check mark has appeared, so I know this slide has a configured behavior. Now when we hit the slide, Title of Live will automatically animate in the picture-in-picture -picture graphic and display the lyrics along with my chosen video source. We'll want to go through and set up the slide types for the rest of the presentation. This may seem a little daunting at first, but we have a lot of selection methods to help you move pretty quickly. I can right click on a slide and select all, which will select all the slides in the Be Thou My Vision playlist item. That's perfect in this case since all the slides are song lyrics. Now we'll move on to the sermon. 
I can right click and select all the slides that are in the same ProPresenter group as the selected slide. I've selected the Bible group, so I'll go ahead and set the slide type to scripture and link these to my scripture lower third. Once I've specified a slide type, there will also be an option to select all slides with the same configuration. This comes in handy if I want to change what graphic all my scripture slides are associated with, for instance. Additionally, I can select a slide and then shift click to range select, or I can hold control or command on Mac to multi-select. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when we start to step through these slides. The first slide will call my title graphic. Since the next slide doesn't contain text, Title or Live knows to automatically animate out the graphic. When I move to the first Bible passage, it will bring in my scripture lower third. And again, when we hit a slide with no text, the graphic will be cleared. If we hit a slide where the Bible text changes, but the reference stays the same, Title or Live is smart enough to only animate the text fields that have changed. So you can see how you can quickly and easily automate your live stream graphics based on what's happening in ProPresenter. One last thing I'd like to show is that we can feed ProPresenter's NDI stream to a picture-in-picture -picture graphic. So you can even take your raw ProPresenter output and incorporate it beautifully into your live stream as simple as that. Now you understand the fundamentals of working with ProPresenter in Titler Live. With this powerful integration, you can keep your operators working in a single application and automate every aspect of your live stream graphics.